Cool. I don't know what I'm saying. G'day, my name's Walters. <laughs> Well, bloody hell are ya? Today on All Walter's Adventures <laughs> We're starting at point A Down there We're going 650 metres Doing a four plane, two barb fence As customer request We're doing five black star post Every sixth a 2.1 metre maxi Seven foot Gotta run out the sight wire still Gotta reload the rack twice and yeah, should be able to get it done. What's the time now? 10.30? Should be able to get it done by 10 o'clock. <laughs> Holy guacamole. Walked well, fencing two old plates by now. <laughs> We're going to put this just under where it needs to go so we've got room to work. We're going to pull our chain back and get the loops out of it. Attach the straining head on. Arrange the wire. I'm going to use the old third arm that I have here. There we go, we just arrange it so it's not squashing the barb. most of the strain out here and we just got to flick our line and make sure it's straight. Look at him go. <laughs> and that's at the bottom of the plunger. It's well and truly tight enough. And we're going to attach our two hole plate on now. So this is, uh, this is just a running post and traditionally you tie a knot around the running post. The two old plates enable us to just keep running without tying any knots. And we tighten it enough that the plate bends but the tech screws don't break. And now we can undo our barb. Ready to rock and roll on down. Fast. Why don't you go that quick all the time? <laughs> My arm's sore now. <laughs> oh. Our old Jimbo is going to go flick from the corner up the line. So we're tied off around the 150 MB posts. You either go it's minimum seven, seven um, barbs past it. I like to go nine or ten, give myself a little extra, I can always cut it off. We're walking down to this little gully here to pin the um, sight wire down because it's way up in the air at the moment. It's going to make it hard to post. So this line's hanging nice and level apart from the cow that's walking over it. So to make sure our post is level, we'll just dangle it right next to the wire there. We'll drive it in on a little bit of an angle to help it hold into the ground. Looks nice and neat, and then we'll just take some tie wire and pin it down ground level here. And that line is set, ready to go. So how many metres will we get out of that rack? Oh, 300. So that's at what metre spacings for the posts? Four metres. Awesome. And that's three post racks together? Correct. So, we're up to the posting. Post them at four metres apart. We're putting two of the pre cut ties in for the two barbs. That's how the customer wants it tied on. It's a rock and roll.
We we'll actually like to pin the barb down on the first post, just so when we get to our rest of them, the barbs are up in the air. It's easier to easier to slide in. Yeah, so as you said, brought it down to the ground a bit. So then you're not trying to fight with it. It's not going to rub up against your leg and nail you. You can gauge that one off this one to get them level. So then when you go to tie off and level again, it's less work. And with the seven foot maxis, I don't put them in all the way before I level it, just so I've got more out of the ground for better leverage. Because if it's in the ground, that's bloody hard. needs a driver. <laughs> so I've grabbed the tie down post and a piece of rubber tent wire and pre bent it ready for doing the tie down. I've got my nippers ready to go so as soon as he's driven it we can tie it on. With this post here, we've pinned it down. So we've driven a post in on the angle. And then when it's gotten to, when two holes, when the pin post hole is slightly lower than the actual post hole, tie it together. So in case all the water and shit that builds up in here, so the post doesn't pop out when we put strain on the sight wires and stuff. Whoa. I noticed something on the back of your shirt. Yeah. What does it say? Oh, did someone put kick me on my shirt? <laughs> This is a conversation starter. What does that mean? Just scan this one. Ready? Bloop. We take you to the website. Try my shirts for a shirt about men's mental health. It tries to promote speaking about it more, which it's crazy if you don't. It's not, it's not unmanly to talk about your feelings and stuff. It's better than talk about it than hold it in and yeah. It ain't weak to speak, boys. Go on past the corner, a post. And then we've strained our top barb just so we don't have to come back down to this section when we're 500 metres up the line. And then with our um, plane wires, we've U clipped them to the post so they're still loose, they're just floating there basically. So then when we strain it, we don't have to come back down and move them all up and fight with them and stuff like that. And yeah, it's about oh, 20 to 4. On our last little, last little leg, about 150, 200 meters left. Uh, I've reloaded the rack twice, and not far to go now. Then strain and tie off. Up, update, Dave. It's about five o'clock. Finished posting. Just off to tie and packed up the rack trailer, which is just behind me there. Majority of the time, we don't use these pre-cut tires. We usually tie it on the side of the post with um, little bits of tie wire that we cut in the workshop and stuff. For the reason it's going in the top post, 
is so uh, is because that's what the customer likes that's what he's got at the rest of his property personally i don't like it because if something was to fall on it it snaps because it's pretty much just a little sharp point in there but if it was on the side it would just snap the tie and then it'd be an easy fix so i've tied the majority of it off it's ready to be tapped started at 10 30 i think i said probably finish here in another 10 15 minutes just on six o'clock and yeah nice sick